everybody. Uh, I am Federica Maria Marrella. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in Union University in Milan. So I talk to you from Italy, from the north of Italy. Um, this is the project of my postdoc of this year. This is the title of the project. I, I decided today to bring to you the results of my research. So this is the title, The Social and Gender Identity in the New Fashion World. Fashion world, the food and beverage made in Italy television commercials in during the year 2022. Uh, so let's start with an introduction, a uh, premise. So my first book, that is the my PhD thesis, uh, is called Iconografia del Consumo, la costruzione dell'immagine femminile tra moda, arte e pubblicità. And it is, um, I analyzed there the female representations in the major Italian luxury preta porte brands advertising campaigns during the years 2010, 2015. Uh, this thesis, it has been published by Arachne di Trice in 2019. You can see here the book. Uh, during this year of my postdoc, I followed the postdoc in sociology and I decided to work on the same methodology of study but changing the subject of analysis. I studied the social and gender identities in the advertising television spots of food and beverage made in Italy products. So um, talking about sustainability, this is a, a great theme, a great theme of uh, different subjects uh, and also um, of different kind of uh, research. So what is the meaning of sustainability? Of, and above all, it really has just one meaning. This is the first question about this presentation. So I would like to start with this Native American proverb that says, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. So this idea of past, present and future, it's so conceptually connected also with my uh, world of iconography and iconology that is a, the method um, that I use to analyze images and videos. So if we look at the, the description of the word sustainability from the Cambridge Dictionary, for example, the, it is written, the quality of being able to continue over a period of time. So for example, the long-term sustainability of the community, and then the quality of causing leader or no damage to the environment, and therefore able to continue for a long time the company's commitment to env uh, environment sustainability. So as you can see also here, just from the dictionary, there is this idea of sustainable, that, that it means time, that it means past, present and future, and also a connection to the community. So another question, why I broke um, a project about food and beverage? So we are talking about fashion, but actually, uh, above all, in Italy, uh, the new fashion world, it could have been seen like the food and beverage world. But I'm not just the, the only one that says this idea. In 1961, Roland Barthes highlights a parallel between food and fashion. He states that food as fashion are symbols of society significance. Fashion and food are the two clearest and most defined places of language and social culture. Barth talks about food like a dress, like a garment, like an object of creativity and social conscience. He, for instance, talks about the value of sugar in the United States of America. And in the mythology in 1957, he illustrates the role of wine, mix, stack, fried potatoes, and ornamental cuisine. Three little essays, uh, actually, that light up around like an intense latter. They are so ironic, cynical, and exquisite. So what about my theoretical issues? So this kind of research project um, obviously has a lot of uh, different areas of study. Uh, actually, obviously, iconography and iconolo uh, iconology. Uh, for example, Abby Warburg, Linda Nocklin, Erwin Panofsky, George D. Uberman works. Um, the second subject uh, is gender studies. Uh, we talk about, for example, J Judith Butler, Susan Bordo, um, Donna Haraway, and so on. Then there is sociology and advertising, above all the work of Erwin Goffman, gender, gender, advertising, uh, gender Advertisement of 1976. 
then there is Roberto Grandi, Federica Mozzarelli, Alberto Abruzzese, Roland Barthes, above all. Then there is the, uh, the world of semiotics. Uh, for example, Marrone, Jean-Marie Floch, uh, Cinzia Bianchi, Umberto Eco. So there are a lot of uh, fields oh, and areas of study for this kind of subject. It's um, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary and also multidisciplinary um, attitude towards my research. So the main objective of this study has been to investigate the representation of gender and social identity in the most play TV commercials during the month of April 2022 of food and beverage made in Italy in the Italian television. So the channels on the right are the most famous in, uh, in the Italian television. And the daytime examined is the evening one from 7 to 11 uh, during the evening. I have chosen to focus on the brands for adults, young people and families. So the spot about Made in Italy food were 13, the spot about Made in Italy beverage were seven, so uh, I totally analyzed 20 spots. So the methodology about the ana analysis is the most crucial uh, theme about this research because uh, obviously there are a lot of a connection and uh, fields of research. So I started from the ritualization and hyper ritualization described by Goffman in 1976 with his gender advertisement. So the relative size, the feminine touch, the function ranking, the family, the ritualization of subordination, the license withdrawal. Then I followed in the same way in, in a particular way, the semiotic system table by Martin and Felicita, I think in terms in semi of semiotic uh, in 2006. So this is a kind of mirror to follow to when you look uh, at an image and also to when you look at a video in a particular and also obviously scientific way. And then there is the semiotic model of 1990 by Jean-Marie Floch. Uh, he underlined four kind of values, valorization of foods, uh, of um, advertising, sorry, because he studied this kind of mm, model uh, on the um, automobiles uh, advertising campaign. So these are uh, four different valorization um, of uh, advertising, uh, of an object in advertising campaign. So there is the practical valorization, the utopian valorization, the critical valorization, and the ludic aesthetic valorization. So I have no, not so much time today, so I, uh, obviously I can't uh, describe all the results of this research. If you are interested in this year, it will be published by Arachne Ditrice. Uh, but I will, I will, uh, I would like to talk about in general the results of this analysis. So you can see here the tables, my tables about the spot, the spot of food. These are the object described in the in the spots, and the spot of beverage, birra peroni, knus. I don't know if you know them from Italy, made in Italy, food and beverage products. So the first interpretation, looking at the table, it can be summarized as follows. So the ludic valorization is the first valorization of all, uh, of, of all the products. So we understand that Italian people don't want to save in the world of food and beverage because there is no critical valorization. The critical valorization are the, is the valorization that underlines the save, saving of money, um, talking about a product. And there is no critical valorization in the um, advertising campaigns of food and beverage. Uh, the first uh, valorization is the ludic one. So the idea that having food together, it's so, it's so funny, it's so important to share food and beverage with uh, the people we love. At the same time, um, it's very present, the practical valorization, and this is connected to our idea of sustainability. So in the uh, representation of food is so much in, in beverage, it's so much underlined the idea that in uh, Italy, we have this beautiful um, 
raw materials, okay, raw ingredients. The made in Italy is um, something that underlines and stress the quality of something. And then there is also uh, the, mm, the idea of uh, chimerical themes like the utopian valorization, union, peace, humanity, the fight against prejudice, prejudice love and happiness. And as for the fashion bodies, archetypes, stereotype, ritualization, and hyper-ritualization present, it can be summarized as follows. So there is the feminine touch, for example, the fem female ecstasy, the fem uh, feminine touch, the female license withdrawal. So generally, we have to underline that there is a kind of revival uh, of all the same stereotypes and archetypes of female, of male. For example, I think this is a, an interesting point the voice that mm, describes the spots is almost uh, male. So the male voice is connected with security, uh, with uh, knowledge in some way. Then there is, uh, on the contrary, the female representation is always so sexy, so sensual, sometimes uh, so absent-minded. So this the idea of license withdrawal is so present. Um, it is always the woman that tries the food and tries the beverage. So this idea of the touch of the mouth of the female character, it's so present. So it's a kind of division between male uh, characters that are the more secure and intellectual and the female characters that are always represented as sensual and, and physical. Uh, Another uh, example, uh, there, is, uh, no, the represent there is no representation of homosexual. There is always the heterosexual family. Uh, there is just one representation of an homosexual boy, but it's so stereo stereotyped also. Uh, there is the presence of the pandemic. There are some elements of these spots that are connected to the pandemic period, uh, just like, for example, smart, smart working. Um, there is this idea also that food and beverage are like two genders. Uh, the food representation is so connected to the female uh, glands, glands, and the male, the beverage, so connected to the male uh, target. So it's a kind of food and beverage are two gender, the female and the male genders. So there is also this idea of fairy tale and romance or the sacred rites. So the, the connection so stereotyped also with the sacred tradition of food and beverage. So it's it's interesting the fact that as Abi Warburg in uh, Gombrich uh, says, uh, this is a quotation from Gombrich, but uh, obviously the words are from Abi Warburg. Every age has the renaissance of antiquity that it deserves. And this sentence is always connected to this idea of past, present and future also in the communication idea. So I have some question um, connected to this great theme of sustainability that you are talking about in this beautiful conference. So how can we create a new world of sustainability on a broader science sense? If we just underline the natural poor bio elements, and let's see the, for example, the practical valorization of food and beverage made in Italy, but we still remain anchored to all stereoty stereotypes in the visual narration of people, social identity and gender. So um, sustainability is not just something that is connected to nature and bio and uh, environment as we always also see in the description from the dictionary. It's, it should be also connected to the community, to the future of a community, to the changement of communities. The new fashion world, the one of food and beverage, can be a possible medium of a broader change. How can the idea of quality of made in Italy can be sold around the world in a world of changements and new ideas and new lives also, if it remains connected to something that is always local and not global? Shall advertising be more open, connected the global beauty to the global revolution and social transformations? So obviously these are provocation in some way, ideas, questions, uh, curiosities. So as a researcher, I have more questions than answers. <laughs> so uh, for what concern future perspective and ideas among the possible further researchers, it would be especially stimulating to deepen the union between the iconographic study 
and iconologic study of spot advertising in contemporary social reality. Furthermore, it will be interesting to develop research in the same years, changing the media, for example, and for instance, analyze, for instance analyzing the advertising spots on the web. So the web is a different medium uh, from television. As McLuhan said, the medium is the message. So also the medium can change the target and can change his voice in some way. And also it could be interesting to study the advertising TV spots of these brands in different countries to make a parallelism and a social analysis of the social identity narration of the made in Italy products all over the world. So for example, Barilla, that is so famous um, brand, Italian brand of made in Italy um, products, has the same advertising campaigns, spots and images in another country of Europe or of the world. It could be another interesting field to research, to a, to a research. So thank you so much for your attention. This is, this is my email and my blog. And if you are interested in uh, writing me for some questions, and also if you are interested in reading the project, it will be published this year by Arachne Editrice. And thank you so much and hope you love the presentation.